Lindsay. I'm taking Blue on a walk right now. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about three things that you need to know about owning a Dalmatian. So Blue comes to work with me about five days a week and he gets to go play with all the other dogs at daycare while he's here. And that really helps to get his energy out. So Dalmatians are super beautiful dogs and that's why I wanted to get Blue. I mean, everyone loves the movie 101 Dalmatians, but not everyone knows how much work a Dalmatian really is. So you see, I had to run Blue around a little bit because Dalmatians have a lot of energy. This breed might be the highest energy breed that I know. So you would think they were in a sporting group, but Dalmatians are actually in a non-sporting group. They are known as mascot dogs, but these dogs back then, they would run by carts. So they would run by medicine carts in England, um, and they are really good at running. That's what Dalmatians are good at. So if your lifestyle doesn't involve any activities, or you don't have time to run your Dalmatian or pay for them to go to a boarding facility where they can run and play all day, this dog is not for you. You need to have a lot of time and a lot of space for them to run at your house. And if you don't have space, you need to be able to run with them or take them on runs in the morning and in the evening. Now that I have Blue calm after running him around and getting some of his energy out, I can talk to you about the second thing you need to know about Dalmatians. And that is that Dalmatians make bladder stones or they make crystals that clump together and form stones in their bladder. And the way to prevent this is by having them on a special diet. So I have Blue on a liver diet made by Science Diet and he doesn't make any stones. But he did, when I first got him, he was peeing little stones. When I would take him on walks, I would see that there was like some sand in his pee. And now there's none at all and his pee is completely normal and free of the stones. So the crystals that they make are called urate crystals. And if you don't wanna use the science diet one, you can choose any other diet specific for Dalmatians and their urinary tract. All right, guys, so I have a special guest for you. This is Daisy, and she is one of Blue's puppies. So if you watch my Instagram, you would have seen that Blue and Violet, my other Dalmatian, had puppies last year, and she is one of them. So the third thing that you need to know before you get a Dalmatian is that Dalmatians can be deaf. And that is due to their white genes that they have. Dogs that are white are more prone to being deaf. But you need to ask a breeder before you get a puppy to do hearing tests on them to make sure that you're not getting a deaf Dalmatian. If you want to adopt a puppy that is deaf, you just need to know that they're going to have some behavior problems. They're going to get scared easily because they can't hear things around them. And they can be skittish with new people coming into your house. But otherwise, if you love the breed and you want to get a deaf Dalmatian or a half deaf Dalmatian, go ahead and get one. Just know that they're going to have some, some more behavior problems. Thank you guys for watching this video on what you need to know before you own a Dalmatian. They are super beautiful, athletic dogs if you have the time and energy for them. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any friends that want to get a Dalmatian, please send them this video before they get one. And also remember to hit the bell to when I post videos every Thursday at five o'clock.